Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So before I start talking about this drawing, I have one announcement. So recently I started a Patreon account and this drawing is on my Patreon account. And this video is public to everyone and this is the only video that will be public because I just wanted to show you all how my video is going to be like. Um, like what's going to be featured on my Patreon account and also talk about why I started, where's the money going for and what I am offering for a low price and to answer some questions that you may have if you are interested in this um, and in that video it is real time and I believe it's about three to four hours so if you want to check it out the link is in the description box below also on Saturday I was supposed to post a video but I didn't due to computer problems so Flora was acting up which Flora is the editing um, program that I use and it was acting up so I decided to upgrade it to number three to number nine and <laughs> there was a lot of changes and I had to like learn and get used to it and also um, the footage that I was using something something was just not right I had to transfer it over to my iPhone to my computer but it just didn't want to transfer it was acting up and stuff so that's why I didn't post but yeah let's talk about this drawing so today I'll be working on a marker and color pencil illustration for an, an art project and also a contest for this Norfolk Ties contest. Um, the Norfolk Ties is a baseball team in North Norfolk, Virginia and they play at Harper Park in Norfolk and for the contest you have to draw something related to the Norfolk Ties or baseball and the prize money was $250. Um, the winner's art will go on the program color cover, and the winner can throw the first pitch. The contest has passed already, and I didn't win, but honestly, I was just doing it for a grade. But I had fun making it as well. As well. Gosh, I'm talking too fast. Our school actually ended up winning, and my teacher said that a bunch of different schools in our area um, participated in as well. And judges thought that we were the best, which is really cool. And the artwork um, took me about four hours. Um, I did work on it during class because the art teacher gave us an extra day. So I didn't want to sit there and do nothing for like an hour and, and a half or whatever and do nothing. But uh, most of it I did at home and the um, most of it at school was just a bunch of touch-ups. And at home I worked for about three hours, but I did take breaks as well. So for this project, I wanted to do something simple but make it look good. I wanted to take everything that was in baseball and and put it in the drawing, like the food, the game, in general, like the bat, the baseball, the bases, the shirts they wear and stuff like that. And I think uh, it was a good idea and it turned out really well. I just want everything that was in baseball, baseball to be in one drawing. So the Norfolk Tide colors are orange and green, so I did a radial design and used their colors to color the background. I used my Copic markers, and honestly, Copic markers, um, which is as good as Hugo markers, they are the bullet tip, they're not the fancy brush tips. And last, and on Saturday, I was supposed to make a video comparing a Hugo to Copic markers, but again, like I said earlier, um, the video clips were like, I don't know, ruined or damaged or wouldn't want to work for some reason. So, yeah. So, somewhere in the video, I did show you all the markers that I used. I struggled a lot with the details. And in class, I kept on messing up with the line art. Um, I don't really suck at line art. And I always end up messing it up. Like, me and ink do not get along. I do like inking digitally, though, because you can, you know, erase it. But other than that, I want ink away from me, okay? Um, I noticed that when I use these markers on the paper, uh, which is the Canon mixed media paper, the markers like feather out and bleed it a lot. And when you are trying to blend markers, they don't really blend on this type of paper, I think, because the markers just dry too fast and like this mixed media paper like sort of absorbed all the markers and so I think it's better to just stick with the marker paper so apparently there's no whistle in baseball and <laughs> I drew a whistle 
So that shows you how much I know about baseball, but for some reason I thought every sport had a whistle. But when I showed it to my art teacher to tell him, he said, that's awesome, but there's no whistle in baseball. Part of me was like, hmm, part of me cared, but part of me didn't because it's not like I can go back and change it. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out my Patreon video to see the full video and answer some questions that you may have. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!